Hey what's up guys, it is TBM TCG and we are doing something different today. I thought I'd get this out of the way with just for the time being due to the fact that the thing that I'm going to unbox next in this video is all to do with it in a way. But I thought what I'm going to do is explain to you what has actually been happening recently. So went into my local shop where all the TCG and all the models are and I thought to myself, I feel like changing TCG games, and I thought, what can I do? So I was looking around, looking at all different things that they could possibly play, and the clerk actually advised me to play Magic the Gathering. So this is my first ever, well, two decks. I know that um, it is old and basic, but this is actually complimentary, he actually gave me this to actually start off to learn the game to then go from there so he gave me this which has got two decks in it if you haven't seen these before I don't know if they're some sort of like exclusive to regions I don't know maybe I'm still new to it so you may have to just give me a little bit of time with this so don't crucify me at the moment crucify me later on if you want when it comes to the comments not actually crucify me no no I'm just looking at you you can stop stop thinking about it Anyways, so yeah, he gave me these two, so we're going to have a look inside what you actually get in this. And it says here that your path begins here. You are a white mage, you lay down the rules and command armies to enforce them. Customise your own magic deck with potent spells and fierce creatures. Then challenge your friends to see who's the mightiest of all. So you get two ready to play 30 card decks, a welcome letter and a quick reference card. So this is made in the US, so no doubt... The all of you lot, all you gamers that, have got, uh, that are in the US actually have this. But for people that don't actually know what this is, this little complimentary little deck box and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to show you what's actually in it because it could be new to me as well. So, crack it open. I'll do that there. But before I continue, there is something else that I will be uh, unboxing that is more interesting. Way, way, way more interested because apparently, well, there was a little promo uh, at the place where I was for the new release. And after the weekend, the, the new uh, decks aren't actually available until next week, so it's sort of like a pre a pre release party. And then actually releases next week, so I'm actually getting this quite early considering I'm not, I'm not too don't know much about it, but I thought may as well try and get into it as quick as I can with the latest expansion. So, first off. You got your little quick reference guide. Tells you how to play, parts of the turn, and all that sort of stuff. And how each of it is. All your end phase, main phase, combat, main, beginning. All your how to's and all that sort of stuff. And it actually tells you how to cast your spells, your creatures, and all that sort of stuff. So, for people that are completely new, you then um, actually get to have a little insight of what the actual game is about and you also got the magic doors as well so if you do want to play online you can so that's that pop that back in the box pop you there next thing is a little letter that they give you so it's all about hello magic player blah 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 blah, blah. excited to invite you and all this sort of stuff and what you could do next, all your checklists and all that sort of stuff, but we don't need that. We don't need that at all. So, two decks. Forest, I guess that's how they call it. Forest and a light. I do believe that is light. I will come back with my instructions to make sure that I am talking correct and not out my ass. Because I do have a tendency. Oh no. So according to this. I've got myself. A, a forests and a plains. I can actually get. I can, I can get used to that. So I'm going to crack these open. And see what you actually get inside. So I guess that's your main, your main card. Soul of the harvest. So we'll open up this one. First. I completely did it the wrong backwards way to actually open it. But yeah. So with this Life Spring Druid. A load of forest cards. Oh, a couple of forest cards. A giant mantis. Aim high must be a spell. 
plummet, another spell, forest card, forest card, a quilled wolf, does look quite cool, oaken form, must be a spell, blood hunt and worm, the only reason why I'm guessing that these are actually spells or whatever, it's by the numbers at the bottom, I'm guessing that's like your, your hit points and your toughness. Another spell, spell, forest, forest, uh, monster, Thornhide Wolves, Forest, Forest, Incremental Growth, Spell Card, A Woodland, I'm guessing that's another spell, Forest, that's another Spell Card, Rapid Bite, Gloom Widow, that does look very cool, I like the art style in this game, it does look very nice, more Forests, another one, a Quilled Wolf again, Forest, and a Pulse of Morassa. Hopefully I'll pronounce that right. Don't kill me if I haven't. But there we go. Oh no, that is a land. And that's a creature. Wow, I've already got this right wrong. There's your land. Sorcery, instant. Yeah, so that's the rest of them. Apologies for that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep them all together. So you get a fair few land, a, fair, a little bit of sorcery, and a handful of monsters. But that's in that deck. We'll, we'll get the main one to the front. Soul of Harvest. And there we go. On to the Plains deck. This one. See, so I don't know what deck to do. Different people have got different sort of perspectives of what they actually want to do. I'm sort of sat on the, sat on the fence thinking, mm, what deck is there out there that could possibly be something that I could be interested in? But... Uh, Maybe you guys can help me with that. Put in something in the link in the description. Give you suggestions of how what you can do, what you can suggest. And hopefully we'll go from there. Hopefully I'll be able to make myself a deck that's actually really good. So there's the Aegis Angel. That is an instant silver strike. That is a creature. Affa Protector. Devil Fawn Fox. A Mighty Leap. Another Devil Fawn Fox. Plains card. Ethereal Guidance. Gideon's Reproach, another Plains, Plains, Marked by Honour, see this does look quite cool, the Plains, look quite nice, Angel of Renewal, nice, Plain, Courier Griffin, Plains, Plains, Blighted Step, this must be a spell, Plains, Plains, Inspiring Captain, does look pretty damn cool if you do uh, say so myself okay there go so that's another creature mighty leap go back there plain plain cliffside lookout she's got one mean old face See, look at that that is a resting bitch face get that back out there we go don't scare people uh, smite the monstrous Christ knows what that is. It looks like an octopus attack on Titan lookalike. Uh, a Sarah Angel. Another plane. McKindy Aeronaut. Never heard of it. But there we go. Same again. Get a few planes, get a few spells. But that's what you need to start off your decks. And. Hopefully be able to make something really good with one of these decks. Don't know what deck I'm going to do, as I've already said. But yeah, you get them two with that, with that box. But, I'll get that rubbish out of the way. This is not what we're here for. We're here for something else. I know that what it's going to be, because I've actually put it in the link description below, which you, if you haven't already read, you need to read. But this is the new expansion, Kaladesh. Now, this only came out. Yesterday, I think. I think it was yesterday because I did a pre-release uh, pre -release party, which I did sort of attend just to have a look out and see what it's like. But yeah, so I've actually got myself a uh, Chandra Planeswalker deck. Now I may just have to get my uh, change my camera around a little bit. Apologies for that, just so I can get it all in. All right, there we go. But yeah. So you've got your Chandra deck, and you get 
Chandra, the Pyro Genius, as a card. But you also get on the back a uh, ready-to-play 60-card deck feature and a foil premium Chandra. Two Kaladesh 15-card booster packs, strategy insert, and a magic quick reference card. So you get quite a lot here. And to me, this was $13.99. Yes, which is about close to... I'd say about close to about eighteen twenty dollars for you guys in America when you do get this. But I think this is really good. Box art is really nice as well. But yeah, this is the latest in instalment of the Magic series. So we're gonna crack this open, see what we get, and then we're gonna do the actual booster packs. Alright, sorry for all the rustling. So yeah, there you go. That is the Foil Chanda Pyro Genius. Does look pretty darn nice. Try and move that light a bit towards so you can read it. Chandra Pyrogenius deals 2 damage to each opponent, or minus 3 Chandra Pyrogenius deals 4 damage to each creature, and Chandra Pyrogenius deals 6 damage to target player and each creature his or her controls. So that is a really powerful woman that is. But really nice box art, not box art, what I'm saying, really nice foil art on the back. But also the character herself does look pretty cool. Yep, so, got that. Pop out there. So, next thing, you actually get a box. That actually makes me really happy, because I was sort of thinking, how the hell am I going to transport my deck around? Turns out, they actually give you something to look at. So, sorry again, going to adjust, just so I can get it all in. Yep, alright. So, yeah, that's what you get, it's got Chandra on the side. One booster pack, two booster pack, and you got yourselves a. Uh, this must be just a little. Oh my god! Didn't expect this. Okay, all right. Hopefully you can see this in the face cam. So that's what I'm gonna put it up at. It'll be backwards though, just like myself. But hey. That's what you get. Sort like that. Hopefully you can see that. Oh no, oh no, here it is right. Here it is correct. There you go. Just shows you that. Talks about Chandra and how to how to learn to play. There's a little backside of her backstory. It actually gives you as well a list of all of the things that you get in this deck. So I'll go from it from here. So you get Chandra, you get 17 creatures, 7 vehicles, 10 other spells and 25 land. So you get a fair old bit for this little booster box, if I do say so myself. Right, make sure I pop this back the right way. Ah, don't need that. Right. Empty box. And there you go. Well, that is. Must be a divider. We'll have a look though. Damn, these things are like Fort Knox. Must be some sort of. There is. Right, where is it? Where are you? Apologies for this. Because I've never opened up magic before. Nope. You know what? I'm going to get scissors. Please look away if you're squeamish. When it comes to opening packs like this, I know I am not the best. But I am careful when it comes to scissors. I've only ever cut myself once. I thought to myself I'd never do that again. So I have it is an art for me now. See? All good. Yep. Throw that away. Uh, put them there. But yeah. So we'll go through the deck. So we've got a liberating combustion. Two of them. 
a Fateful Showdown. A Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Oh, this is a quick reference guide. That's what that is. But we've already seen that. We already know what the hell is. That's on about. Put that in there. Speedway Fanatic. A Gear Shift Ace. Trusted Companion. Trusted Companion. Veteran Motorist. Veteran Motorist. West Weld Fast Monitor. A Renegade Firebrand. Two of them. Three of them. Spire Side Infiltrator. Two of them. Brazen Scourge. Scourge. Scourge, shall I say? One of them. An Aerial Responder. Got two of them. A snare Thopter. It's an interesting name. Swell Sky. Sky Skiff. Swell some make up names. A Renegade Freighter. Freighter. Apologies for me not pronouncing it right. A, a Bowmat Bazaar Barge. Oval Chase Dragster, quite cool. Stone Quarry, another Stone Quarry. Three, four, and they got a hell of a load of mountains. Get past all the mountains, all the, and there's planes as well. That's that's all them. And they got build to last, build to last. Cath cathartic reunion, flame lash, flame lash, flame lash, flame lash. That's what you get. That is all you get in that deck. I will sort that back out at some point, back into how the order is. But we'll leave it there. But on to the next bit. So apparently you do get one rare in these, apparently. Not too sure though. So we will... Oh, my days. It's like teeps up have all over again. See now, I don't know if there's actually any card tricks in these. So I'm just going to go with the flow. So, a, a, a three volt. Okay, I don't know what that is. A servo. Token artifact creature. Right, okay, we'll put that to the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right there, so that is a token one. So we've got ourselves a lawless broker. Tasseled Dromdery. Fireforger's Puzzle Knot, Nimble Innovator, a Die Young, Skyswell Harrier, Ornamental Courage, Renegade Tactics, Thriving Rhino, Renegade Rhino, Sky Whaler's Shot, Foundry Inspector, Disappearing Act, Etherworks Marvel, and the final card. It's a mountain. So this must be the rare. Yes, legendary artifact. An eighth work marvel. So yeah, to me, I don't know if this actually is anything. But we'll look into it. I'll look more into it as I go along. But yeah, I think that is the... Yeah, that's the rare one out of all of them. An ether work. So now onto the next pack. The Kaladesh. Right, so, we got ourselves another token, another 1-1 one, one token, and spin that around, Cogworkers Puzzle Knot, Tezzeret's Ambition, Mind Rot, sounds fun, Herald of the Fair, Nanum Cobra, Malfunction, Reckless Fireweaver, Appetite Ox, of the unnatural giant spectacle, fair enough. Hunt of the week, fairgrounds trumpeter, contraband kingpin, hmm, sounds interesting. Morbid curiosity, multiform wonder, and the rare at the back. Oh, oh no, that is the rare. That is the rare. My apologies, I keep forgetting that there is a plain, uh, an actual land card. Well, that looks quite cool. When my form wonder enters the battlefield, you get three energy counters. So you pay multi form, pay an energy counter, and multi form wonder gains your choice of flying, vigilance, or lifelink until the end of the turn. Pay um, 
energy, multiform wonder gets plus two, minus two, or minus two, plus two. So it either turn into a five one or a one five. Mm, see, that sounds all right, but I think they could be doing something better. But we'll put that to side as well. That is all them done. So, guys, this is my little intro into Magic the Gathering. So, I've got myself the little in introductory. I've also got myself the Chandra as well. So, I hope you did like this little uh, video of Magic the Gathering. I know that I don't really know much about it, so don't. I have a go too much in the comments. I mean, fair play if you want to have a go. But I'm trying to learn something new so that you guys can enjoy something else apart from Pokemon. But anyways, guys, I hope you did like this episode of my unboxings of TCG cards. Uh, please like, subscribe, give love to my second channel. That will be in the link description as always. And this is TPM TCG signing off. Oh wow, this must be... Oh dear, look at that, it's absolutely... That feels so weird. That actually... I wonder if we get that. Do you hear that? That actually feels so weird. That looks absolutely amazing though. What the hell is that? I've 